All right, let's get us a look at what's in the case. Boy, I tell you what. First of all, that's a beautiful sound. And then secondly, when you open them up and it makes you go want to go wow. They look as pretty setting in the case as they do hanging on the wall or they look even better when somebody's playing one of them. We're going to do a review on her today. Get a listen to how she sounds. This is an 07 classic. So let's get into the video. Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to play this beautiful guitar. This is a, uh, the Les Paul Classic. It's an 07 um, Slim 60's neck. Uh, the 500T neck pickup and the 496R uh, bridge pickup. And I bought this from a friend of mine and he had Grover Tudors put on it. He loved this guitar. He, he, they shopped and shopped and shopped until finally he played this one and, and just absolutely loved it. Um, and as guitar stories go, found something else that become his favorite and I ended up to be the owner of this. So I'm glad to have it. I, I enjoy it. The uh, Slim 60's neck. It's a fast playing guitar. Uh, this one is chambered. A uh, little lighter for you to, to hold up. If you get a chance to pick one up and play it, I suggest you have it. It is going to be fine. Okay? Let's give it a listen. Um, we're going to start in the front pickup and we'll turn our volume all the way up. And we are running the 500T is what comes with these guitars in the front. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> Pickups are a little hotter than Gibson's, um, uh, say, like in their standard. Uh, it gives you a little more low end. You get these things rocking, they, they really do sound good. 
Uh, let's go to the bridge pick or middle pickup and see what we have going here. Get our volumes turned back up. <laughs> Switch her down to the bridge pickup and see what we got. Give her a little bit of gas.
should inspire you to want to play. said it is chambered uh, just a l enough weight relief if you're standing down here on concrete all day long it does make a difference for you uh, and again uh, anytime you grab an instrument like this uh, it'll inspire you to play you, you get in there and it doesn't matter what style of music you play um, it doesn't matter experience how much you played pick one of these things up and you're you're gonna get moving and that's what makes it nice Let's do a little bit more. Um. selecting guitars um, you can have ten of these identical uh, guitars as far as manufacturer but one out of those ten is going to be your favorite so when you're shopping for something like this take your time uh, get to play the instrument and truly I've said this on several of my videos you can actually sit down with these guitars before you ever even plug it into the amp and have a really good idea as to what the tone's going to be for you. Uh, start, you know, listening to it. It's also a great way to see if you hear any problems here, any kind of fret buzz or anything like that. But, I can absolutely feel this vibrating into my chest. And without the added electronics behind it, I can tell what the actual guitar is going to sound like before we get to the pickups and the amps and everything else and your style of playing you can listen to these things and absolutely hear how that notes going to ring before it ever hits that amplifier so 
So that was a pretty decent review for a beautiful guitar. Again, these things are artwork to me. Uh, if you haven't seen how to take care of these, I did make a short video giving you some pointers. <coughs> I always leave mine in a case. Um, it's nice to, to display them, but something can happen. If they're not out of the case or strapped to my body, things can change pretty quick for you. So just be mindful, and <clears throat> if you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. There's some decent pointers there for you, how to keep these things clean and looking this nice. I mean, you know, 13 years old, and it does have some miles on it. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you've enjoyed the tone of this guitar, and I'll see you on the next video.